Was that we're live? Oh shit! All right. Uh, hey everybody, welcome uh, back, chat, to another episode of Really Talking, where we make two people talk. I'm your host, the illustrious Dakota Jones. Uh, now I know times are scary and uncertain, and our government slowly violating our civil liberties under the guise of protection. But I ask you not to be afraid, because I have two outstanding guests that are going to help us make sense of the world. First, we have Chief uh, Virologist and leading expert on the coronavirus outbreak, otherwise known as COVID-19, Dr. Matthew Simon. Doctor, how are you? Hello. Thank you for having me. I, I've been working for uh, 36 hours. So, oh, shit. you know, I just wanted to really take advantage of this opportunity to be on your mm -hmm. podcast and speak to your audience. I'm seeing a lot of young people coming in that ER. So oh, I'll well. talk to you. So good. All right. Well, Doc, it is great to have you on here. Our second guest is SoundCloud rapper who's finishing up his degree in music therapy and good vibes at SUNY Plattsburgh. He just got back from spring break in Florida with the boys. Mike, welcome to the show. What's up? How we do? <laughs> Shit. You good? Thanks for having me on, bro. Thanks for having me yeah. on. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, we know you're busy. You got a lot of stuff happening. So we appreciate you taking the time to join us. Uh, how was spring break? Bro, spring break was lit. We were partying for days. I finger banged like seven different Lucy, seven different nights. I was oh. slamming Coronas, doing blow. I mean, you know how it is, man. I was a couple guys too, but anything for that Miami slam me. Am I right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I, that's what I want to hear. Uh, excuse me. I just, you know, I'd be remiss not to mention at this point that that's the kind of behavior that we're actually trying to stop here. That's why I wanted to speak to you guys. Um, we really all should be practicing social distancing. That's a minimum of six feet between six feet between people. You know, none of this grinding stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Don't want to party with people, especially for the sake of the seventy-year-olds. You know, the, the older folks. You got to be seventy-year-olds. Seventy-year-olds. Speaking of social distancing, I totally went the distance with this Lucy on the trip. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't like the kiss and tell, but uh, her name was Melanie. <laughs> Shit, can we get a shout out to Melanie? Shout out to Melanie in the chat. But I, I do think the doctor makes a good point. We shouldn't be partying with 70 year olds. Um, and we're all going to have to make sacrifices. For instance, right now, I should be playing Animal Crossing uh, in comfy sweats in my appropriately titled king size bed that I get delivered from Casper Mattress. Uh, shout out Casper Mattress. Make sure you use. Uh, two people talking as a promo code to get 20% off your order. Um, but unfortunately, the videos on the coronavirus, they're, they're popping off on the YouTube algorithm right now. And you know your boy is a trend chaser. So Doc, if I got this right, you're saying it's important to flatten the curve. Some people say there might not have been a curve at all. Uh, and a large factor of that is uh, social distancing. Sorry, the flat, okay. No, yes, that's what I'm saying. That it's imperative that we do that. We have to flatten the curve. I think I, I, think I get the social distancing thing. It's, it's what you virgins call it when you can't get laid. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, uh, shit. Uh, people are dying. <laughs> oh my God, lax doc. Oh, it's, it's not like Mima was down in Miami with us. So it wasn't actually, that. speaking of. Mima, where's my Campbell's soup? She's an old bird. The drugs really get into her brain, eating it away. And uh, honestly, the same, you know? It's rough, bro. Uh, let me ask you this. Are you feeling ill right now? Yeah, I'm ill, bro. I'm sick from this dope-ass weed. Oh, shit. Uh, you know, um, Mike, I, I, don't, I don't think that's legal in a lot of states. It's sure ain't legal in this one, bro. <laughs> Dude, the chat loves this guy. Okay, yeah, that chat. That's. <laughs> Listen, everybody. I would strongly advise that you don't follow this man's behavior because that's only going to perpetuate this virus's hold on our global community. I mean, endangering the lives of not only the general public but also the medical personnel too. 
you know, we need to be cognizant of the fact that each day that this virus isn't reigned in, more people are going to die. And these are deaths that can be avoided. If we but, do, uh, do, uh, do, do, I hate to cut you off, but I do have to say this. Someone in the chat, uh, they sent a super chat. They wanted to ask you, uh, is this doctor guy a cuck? <laughs> do you know who in the chat streaming Dr. Cuck? These guys, where are these guys get this show? So funny. <laughs> this guy totally is a cuck, bro. That's not, <laughs> that's, listen, I know I'm not a cuck, okay? I am married to my work. All right, all right. I do have one big question for Mike. Mike, you got a freestyle for us tonight? <laughs> oh, shit, my dude. I mean, you know, I hate to let down any fans, but I'm still really hungover from the trip. I don't think I'm sick or anything, but I'm, I'm packing phlegm all day. I just did a week of blow and yeah. boozing. It kind of happens when I do too much, you know. No, you know no, I feel you. I feel you. That's just how it is. I am disappointed, though, because the, uh, the, the chat, they love freestyle. Oh, do they? Do they? That's cool. They do. I'm they sorry. Do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought... <laughs> This was going to be something different. I came here to share vital information and explain some rational behavioral changes that we could all do to save lives. That's why I'm here. Are you trying to say my bars don't save lives, Doc? Oh, shit. Frankly, I mean. Okay, I just, hey, yeah. The Doc just hasn't heard your stuff yet. I'm sure if he dropped some stuff right now, he changed his mind. All right, I mean, shit. Let me drop a quick 64 bars in the Jeffrey Epstein case. Oh, shit, 64? If you bring a beat, I mean, I'll kill that beat. You already yeah, know. I'll we, kill we it. Gotta, the we, gotta beat that Mike Epstein. Kill. we can't do that? I, you got to say you're just shaking your head. Are you Okay, we can't do that, apparently. I fucking pay you $200 hey. a month. and It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No problem. Fine. I'll find my own beat. Okay, uh, I, should, I should really probably get back to work. This is, it's been fun. Uh, really want to make sure that the chat understands. <laughs> I'm not a cuck. All right, you come over to my place. I'll show you. I mean, I'm just saying, don't come over. Stay away, six mm -hmm. feet apart from everybody. Forget that. Forget everything they've said. We need to tackle this as if it's the annual flu. You know what that's like. You know. Mm -hmm we all aren't participating, then it's not going to be effective if we don't take the flu vaccine. Dave Portnoy told me on Twitter that the flu kills more people a year than this is going to kill. I just don't see why we're getting so worked up about it. I, shout out Dakota. I mean, El Prez is never wrong. And this guy never. Is here talking about vaccines. He's got unlimited He's money. never read a book. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, bro? Bro, bro, we got a cuck over here Call me bro. Everybody knows that you're just trying to make these kids dependent on these vaccines just so they can mm -hmm. not get sick and you can make Appreciate a buck. Get in your mm -hmm. wallets fat. Where does this money go, huh, Doc? Doc, where's the money go? You got a counter for that? I'm, oh, all right. Uh, you're serious. Are you serious? Okay, you're serious. serious? That's just, this is exactly the kind of fake news that leads the public into these health crises where we get these outbreaks of diseases mm -hmm. And we think we've beaten them medically, but no, you Zoomers have to get the measles outbreak just like we had in New York last year. This is exactly what is still going on right now and why I came to talk to your young audience. Mm -hmm. just too busy on your damn Game Boys and all that. Maybe people wouldn't be getting so sick if you, you big cucks, wouldn't be taking us off our parents' insurance when we're 26. I just get kicked up. out of my, my house. parents love us. Yeah, it's they don't love me, but they kicked, they kicked me out. Yeah. Thing. It's a yeah, that's a totally different it's issue. Me and Ma and I were doing too much nitrogen, mm. nitrous, whatever. She was yeah, getting crazy. Uh, she loves us. <laughs> but it's just like, I mean, most people are getting a hold of their student loans, and then mm -hmm. boom, big farmers Crushed. coming with another check. Where, where's this money going anyway, Doc? It's a good point. It's a good point, and the chat agrees. I'm seeing a lot of clapping emojis in the chat, and I got to give you a hand myself. I mean, maybe if, maybe if, Dr. Cuck was an influencer like me. He'd be getting clapping emoji emojis in the chat too. Mm -hmm. And then besides, what's what's the worst case scenario? I get a little sniffles yeah, and a, a bunch sick. of old boomers die, and then mm -hmm. Bernie gets to be president. I Sounds get freaked dope. out. Okay, like I'm a my bro. I, I agree. That's I'm a right. bite myself. But this is I'm done, done. I'm done. I'm done. You know, a lot of people are going to die from this, and it didn't have to be this way. All right, I'm done. I'm done. This is bull. This is bull. Okay, well, um, 
I'd like to thank Dr. Simon for uh, for coming on, of course. Uh, make sure you guys tune in next week uh, where we debate littering. Uh, littering is it destroying the planet or is our planet low-key a giant trash can? We'll see you then.